News tonight. Pictures just into our newsroom of the woman accused of killing two Bay St. Louis police officers early this morning. You're looking at Amy Anderson, a 43 year old veterinarian from Ocean Springs. Investigators believe she shot the officers after an argument when the officers threatened to involve child protective services. It all happened while she was in a car with a 10 year old. Anderson was also shot in the chest and killed during the incident. It may have been self inflicted. Investigators are waiting on an autopsy to find out who fired the fatal shot. The child in the car was not injured. Now there's been a tremendous outpouring of support for the Bay St. Louis police officers killed in the attack. Officers Stephen Robin and Brandon Estorf, they were respectively 34 and 23 years old. Bill Snyder has more tonight on how the deadly incident unfolded. Central all units, central all units, can I have anybody en route to Motel 6? Motel 6, we have in Bay St. Louis, we have two officers down. Two officers down. A call to action that no law enforcement agencies want to hear go over the radio. But that's the chilling language they received at 4.30 this morning in the Bay. A female heard two gunshots. They said one is breathing. The two officers on the scene, 23-year-old Brandon Estorf and 34-year-old Stephen Robin, were told they encountered 43-year-old Amy Anderson sitting in this car with a minor female. You can see the broken glass in the driver's side passenger window. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation says Anderson shot both officers from inside the car, and from there, the situation is felt over the scanner traffic. The original call was for a guest needing a welfare concern, Bay 35 and Bay 24 went out there and they were on the phone with CPS. And they called, the office had called us and told us that they heard two gunshots and two officers were down. Law 5 Central 99 get past Waveland and any other responding agencies around police. 10 4. Fellow officers from Bay St. Louis, Waveland, Diamond Head, Hancock County, and the Mississippi Highway Patrol and MBI all arrived to help their downed colleagues in blue. Officer Robin died on the scene. Estorf died from his injuries a short time later. We're told Anderson died from a gunshot wound to the chest. The incident happening quickly. The aftermath, businesslike but somber. Officers collecting evidence, speaking to witnesses, and consoling their colleagues. Hotel patrons stunned and all involved working to process a tragic morning. In Bay St. Louis, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now. Tonight, residents in Bay St. Louis are working to honor officers Estorf and Robin. The signs of community support growing with flags at half staff, a police unit front and center at City Hall, and even a makeshift coffee stand at the crime scene to offer a little comfort to investigating officers. The coffee provided by PJ's Coffee, which has served as a gathering spot for officers to drink coffee and create conversation. The downtown business also putting up a morning wreath to show respect and love. We're a strong community and I believe that we have a lot of support and love from other communities as well. It's just not Hancock County. The whole Gulf Coast is one and I believe there's positivity in numbers.